Okay, so I've been super into lasers lately, and I haven't been posting a lot because uh, I'm getting ready for college and stuff like that. So anyway, right here I have a cheap Chinese laser. This was like 50 bucks. I bought a few of these. Stay. Stay. Right here I have um, a super simplistic laser. Just have a LM13 regulator and a little resistor right there. And then this is a 2.2 watt uh, blue laser, 445 nanometers. And then right here, I have this little laser driver. And this is for a red laser that I'm making. Here's a quick little demonstration of this laser. The reason I'm not using this one for the experiment is one, because it's not very mobile, and two, it has an acrylic lens instead of a glass lens. So, when it comes to lighting matches and stuff, it does it fine. But when it comes to lighting flash paper, it kind of struggles. While this one has such a nice focused beam, it lights it up no problem. This is why you should never buy laser goggles on eBay. The light goes straight through. You would be blinded instantly. It's starting to get pretty dark out. It's about 8.30 or 8.45 or something like that. And I have this little container here. It has some 31% hydrochloric acid in it and um, I would usually use something like this for this type of reaction but I want to collect the hydrogen in little balloons and the balloons stick much better to uh, this little these little ridges right here okay so basically what I'm gonna be doing here is just a single replacement reaction you probably learned similar things to this in high school if you took chemistry uh, so I have some aluminum right here, aluminum foil, and I'm just going to put it in that container of hydrochloric acid and it will make aluminum chloride and hydrogen as a byproduct. Uh, it'll also make a little bit of water, water vapor, which will also go into this balloon, but it shouldn't be to the point where it won't ignite. Okay, here we go. It's slowly starting to react. Oh boy, here we go. Just had to get rid of that initial layer. actually kind of hot. Woo! Yep, that's hydrogen. So here I have another piece of aluminum and this time I'm just gonna put the balloon on immediately. Okay, so the balloon's actually pretty large right now. So I'm gonna take it off. So this is the balloon right here. It's uh, a little bit bigger than my hand, so. Definitely bigger than the last one. Woo! So basically what my plan is, is I have this flash paper, if it would focus, and I'm gonna put this right underneath the balloon, so the balloon's gonna be sitting here, and this will be sitting in front of it, and I'll just shine the laser at the flash paper. It'll ignite the flash paper, which hopefully will ignite the balloon. I'm gonna do it one more time. This time I'm just gonna use the blowtorch instead of this beautiful laser here. Um, and then I'm just gonna call it a day. This is supposed to be a super quick video. I'm gonna make um, a few videos about lithium ion batteries soon. And I'm also making a video about levitating particles with a um, 650 nanometer laser.